I have been here for 26 weeks. trouble for a pot twice before so which is it's kind of sad because to take all three times a bench up they don't even equal up to like a quarter amount like so they were all really small small amounts you know but then that since it was the third time that made it a felony I ended up getting kicked out of drug court for fraternizing so now I'm doing the or the time I would have done had I not taken drug court I get up at 2.45 in the morning and I go down and within three hours, me and the other girls on the shift, we make breakfast for the whole compound, then we clean the kitchen and we're, we're done. By, by 6 o'clock I believe, by 6 o'clock we're done. In the mornings we have this kind of, they call it like a morning meeting, a and and then I go to PMD, which is the same thing as the morning meeting except it's putting closure on the day. I've always had this huge fear of rejection and abandonment, and I think that's where a lot of my things came from, was just that fear of being alone. And they took a pic, mom took a picture of me and her together, and my sister's a really skinny, skinny girl, and I was skinnier than her, and I just looked horrible, and looking at that picture, with like these dead eyes looking back at me, and I just couldn't do it, so I got off meth then, and never went back to it. The biggest thing I've noticed is how much I want to be a mom, and really, she's really close to walking, and I have a feeling I'm going to miss that. Before, my biggest concerns were how much fun can I have, when can I have it, who can I have it with. And now all I care about is, you know, I want responsibility, I want to do the things that normal people do, I don't want to spend my whole life trying to figure out how I'm going to pay off fines for whatever law I broke or whatever I did, you know, I just want to do what everybody else does. I'm different and I am an individual, there's not anyone else like me and I am still a person, just because I'm here doesn't make me less than.